In this lecture, we will learn about the DFA for the union, intersection and difference of two regular languages. Okay. So, let's say that our first language is L1, which is the automata is Q1 alphabet is sigma delta 1 q1 and f1 okay so this is the start state these are the final state sets okay m2 so it has states q2 the alphabet is the same it has a delta function delta 2 the transition function then q2 is the start state here and f2 is the set of final states this represents language l2 now to find the union intersection or difference of these two rank languages so our automaton will be it will have the states which will be the cross product of these two okay so the states will be the in the cross product so what does that mean if the first language has the automaton has three states this has four states to total there will be three into four twelve states so it will be a cross product so for example a is a b and c b is x and y so the states will be a x a y b x b y c x c y so so many states will be there so this is a cross b so corresponding states okay so q is q1 cross q2 q0 will be the starting state of both of them so q1 comma q2 this is a tuple and your delta function will be defined as so if you are in a state p comma q the tuple where p belongs to q1 q belongs to q2 and you get an input symbol a which is from the alphabet then your state will be delta 1 p comma a and delta 2 q comma b so let's try to see all these with one particular example that will help us understand and then we will see how to find L1 union L2, L1 intersection L2 and L1 minus L2. But let's first try to see what happens. We will take a very simple example. L1 is a language. So our sigma is 0 comma 1. L1 is a language that contains even number of ones. L2 is a language that contains even number of zeros. Okay. So how will we make automaton for L1? So we have states, I will just name it simply M represents the number of zero ones. Okay, so let's try to see have I done something opposite. So this is number of zeros. This is number of ones. Okay, so here what happens is L1 is so either you have 2M or even number of zeros or you have odd number of zeros, which is represented by 2M and 2M plus one. So when you get a zero, so I have odd number of zeros. I will come to 2m plus 1 state. I get again a 0. I get 2m zeros. I come to this state. 1 doesn't matter. So this is the even number of zeros. L2 even number of 1s. So I have 2n 1s. So 0, 1, 1, 1 when I get. Then I go to 2n plus 1. If I get 2 1s, I come back to 2n state. If I get 3 1s, I go to 2n plus 1 state and so on. So this way, now let's try to see what is, so this is 2m, 2m plus 1, 2n, 2n plus 1. So 2 into 2 will be our cross product for L1 cross L2. So our states are 2m comma 2n. Okay, so if you cross product these two, 2m, okay, and 2m plus 1 cross product with 2n, 2n plus 1. So it will become 2m 2n 2m 2n plus 1 so 2m 2n plus 1 2m plus 1 2n 2m plus 1 2n 2m plus 1 2n plus 1 okay so these are the four states 2 cross 2 now let's try to see so we will see the how the delta function operates and what was the formula so now you understand that what is delta p comma q means 2m comma 2n it can be 2m 2n plus 1 and so on okay and then i get the input a so what state i will get it will be delta 1 for the first one what you get if you are in state p and get an input a 
and in the second one if you get were in q and get an input a okay so this is a again so let's try to see so i am in 2m comma 2n so delta 2m comma 2n if you are in state this and you get a zero it will be what delta 1 2m comma 0 and delta 2 2n comma 0 so what will delta 1 when i am in 2m and i get a 0 i go to 2m plus 1 okay so 2m plus 1 when i get a 0 here and if i come in 2n and get a and delta 2 will be what when i get a 0 in 2n i will remain here so it will be 2m plus 1 comma 2n so i come here 2m plus 1 comma 2n so this transition leads me to 2m plus 1 comma 2n let's try to see this one 2m if i am in 2m comma 2n this one and i get a 1 so it will be delta 1 2m comma 1 so delta 1 2m comma 1 is what delta 1 2m 1 i get i will be in 2m delta 2 2n comma 1 2n comma 1 i will go to 2n plus 1 so state is 2m 2n plus 1 2m 2n plus 1 so i get a 1 i come to this state similarly you can calculate for all other states let's do it for another one for your help so if i am here let's say um at this state so delta what will happen here if i have delta 2m plus 1 comma 2n plus 1 i am in this state and i get a 0 so delta 1 2m plus 1 comma 0 what will it be delta 1 2m plus 1 comma 0 i go to so it will become 2m delta 1 2m plus 1 and it is now 2n plus 1 so delta 2 2n plus 1 comma 0 if i get so 2n plus 1 if i get in delta 2 so what happens delta 2 2n plus 1 i get a 0 i will remain in 2n plus 1 so this is 2n plus 1 so it will go to 2m and 2n plus 1 so here you go on a 0 okay so this is it completes also somehow i took this example so now you can understand basically it says the formula is if you are in delta p comma q state you get a a then it becomes delta 1 p comma a comma delta 2 p comma a so this is the now the cross product state and all the transitions you can define here now let's try to see intersection okay intersection it tells oh let's see the union first so our one so which is the final state l1 even number of zeros even number of ones so let's say what is we want to find even number of ones union so even number of twos so l1 we want to find l1 union l2 l1 union l2 it says whatever p and q final states are where p and q p comma q tuple p belongs to a final state of f1 or q belongs to f2 so both will be fine so what will be l1 union l2 so final state for this was 2m it was 2n here so it can be this state so final state now will be p comma q p belongs to f1 or q belongs to f1 both will be fine so what are the final states so it will be 2m is here 2m is here and then 2n is here okay so these three states will become the final states for l1 union l2 and let's try to see why because 2m was in the final state of this one l1 2m is in the final state of l1 2n is in the final state of l2 okay 2n is in the final state of l2 so all the three states let's try to see what it means 
either number of ones zeros is even or number of ones is even so at least any in these three states it will be like that but in 2m plus 1 comma 2n plus 1 both are odd so in the other three states so in here both number of zeros and number of ones are even here number of zeros is odd number of ones is but even this is fine here number of zeros is even number of ones is odd so all these three states are accepted so this is l1 union l2 so beautiful now let's try to see l1 intersection l2 so in that case l1 intersection l2 so p belongs to f1 and q belongs to f2 both should belong to the final state so 2m is here it belongs to final state and 2n it belongs to final state so 2m comma 2n will only belongs to the final state when we are taking the intersection so even number of zeros and even number of ones so this is true and only this one belongs now l1 minus l2 so what is l1 minus l2 difference so if final state is p comma q where p belongs to f1 but q does not belong to f2 so p belongs to f1 so this belongs 2m belongs so l1 minus l2 what does it mean even number of zeros but there should be not even number of ones so let's try to see so p comma q such that p belongs to f1 q does not belong to f2 so p belongs to f1 is what so 2m comma 2n is there 2m comma 2n plus 1 is there q does not and q does not belong to f2 so what will happen where q belongs to does not belong to f2 is 2n so this will not be true so it's basically saying that 2m 2n plus 1 that even number of zeros should be there but not even number of ones so this is the final state for l1 minus l2 so it's the difference l1 minus l2 means if we have even number of zeros minus it should not have even number of ones so it should be odd number of ones so this is there so this tells us how to get the union difference or the intersection of two regular languages using dfa so you just have to take the cross product of the state then find the transition function so cross product of states transition function you find and then you take by using this method so l1 union l2 what are the final states so p comma q such that p belongs to f1 or q belongs to f2 both are fine l1 intersection l2 p should belong to f1 and q should belong to f2 and l1 minus l2 p belongs to f1 and q should not belong to f2 okay so that should be there and the first thing is how you create the state so take q is equal to q1 cross q2 start state is q1 comma q2 both the start state of both of them and then transition function is defined by this one it's very important so i hope you understand this thanks a lot